Hello and welcome to another episode of the Roasted and Barreled Review. So, if you can't tell by the bottle, we are reviewing an Irish whiskey. And since it's spring, it's St. Patrick's Day. Now, by the time this comes out, it'll be a little past St. Patrick's Day. But still, you just... I love the... the I love the the bright greens of Ireland. I love the bright greens here in Kentucky that come out. So I wanted something to kind of memorialize it. It's not that I'm that into St. Patrick's Day, but I have been trying with each of these to go beyond just bourbon. So we get um, one foreign bourbon, um, foreign from the United States, and then one foreign bourbon, like foreign from Kentucky, foreign whiskey from Kentucky. So, that's why we did what we did. And since we're doing an Irish whiskey, I wanted to kind of give it a comparison as opposed to, say, Kentucky bourbon. Now, what I'm noticing here is with Irish whiskey, it must be made from a mash of malted barley. Whereas, Kentucky bourbon, usually, well, it, it has to have corn. And it really doesn't have to have barley. Generally, the three ingredients that Kentucky bourbon whiskey has is corn, wheat, and rye are generally. You don't see a lot of malted barley there. Another thing that I'm noticing in the Irish whiskey is that it has to be distilled at no more than 188 proof. Whereas... Kentucky bourbon has to be stood at no more than 160 proof. Oof. The a big thing that I'm noticing with the Irish whiskey is you can't have additives other than water or caramel coloring. Watering, not so much, but the coloring, that just doesn't fly here in Kentucky. Um, another thing that you're looking at is the type of wood in the barrels. I think... At the like, I like that the Irish whiskey can go in any type of wooden barrel, roll because it allows you to diversify your flavor profiles. Whereas Kentucky, it's um, you get the diversity in the charring, but the, all the barrels have to be new white oak. You can't reuse barrels; it has to be new white oak. Ooh, obviously, with location, Irish whiskey has to be made and come from Ireland. Bourbon does not have to just come from Kentucky, even though they produce 98% of it, but it just has to come from America. So with the whiskey, we have Wolfhound Irish Whiskey. I noticed that there was a slight tinge or sting on the initial sniff. The second sniff was more relaxing, revealing some corn. On the initial sip, it was average, definitely hints of corn. Nothing really changes on the rocks. This is an average whiskey. Good buy for the twenty to thirty dollar range. Not going to press, but won't disgust. Right for a quick draft. It's good for a quick grab or pandering to a dog person, or like it's not something like, "Hey, it's St. Patrick's Day. I got you Jameson or something." No, this will definitely kind of pander to them. And honestly, that's kind of why I bought it because I used to have an Irish Wolfhound in my family. I can't give this a buy rating because it's not solid enough that it would be well worth um, a total buy, but it is definitely worth a try rating. Definitely worthy of a plunge into getting the bottle. It's not too expensive. Well within that sweet wheelhouse of where you'd want to try something. And now with the coffee, I got this out of Kansas City. It is oddly correct. They're good girl blend. Um, upon the smell of opening the bag, I got like a, a smell of cooked burgers with the taste. It's very earthy and overly bitter. Uh, you can save this coffee by adding Buffalo Trace bourbon cream, but you really shouldn't if that's what you're looking to buy it for. Uh, this coffee was a fight to get through and I definitely remember it that way. It's drinkable but not desirable. I'm giving this a deny rating. Now for the pairing. This pair is a good balance. The good aspects of the whiskey and the coffee seem to offset each other's bad aspects. The taste doesn't pop. 
it's a very watery nothing and because of that that I'm going to give it a try rating this is better than disgusting sewage but is that really something that you want to shoot for you should be shooting for something more than that so it's okay but not really worth a buy so I'm giving this a try rating and that's all I have for you thanks for listening to the roasted and barreled review